Hey, so I had a client ask me how to use my fitness pal and this is one of those things that's easier to show you than to tell you. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to use my fitness pal. If you do not have an account with my fitness pal, you do not need to purchase the premium to use it. You don't. All that does is it allows you to adjust your goals per gram, I think. It's, like, it's more detailed, but again, I'm not a huge fan of tracking your macros. So in MyFitnessPal, get the macros as closest to what your goal should be based off of the calculator in the membership site, but don't like, it doesn't have to be exact. Use it as a guide because remember, tracking your macros could be 25% higher or lower. So just use it as a guide and don't purchase it. So first of all, I've got my phone here. We're gonna go ahead and I've opened up the app already. Can't really tell, you can't see it very well, sorry. But um, when you open it up, you've got at the bottom, you've got your diary that will take you to your food diary. You can go to your more settings and you can change your goals and you can put in your weight. My fitness pal uses a different calculation. So when you put in your, your goal weight and everything like that, it's going to give you a different number than you got off of the membership site. That's fine. Remember, it's just an outline of kind of where you should be. All right, so when you're ready to track your food, the easiest way to track your food is to scan barcodes. But if you're eating how you should be eating, there's not a whole lot of barcodes that you've got to scan because there's no barcode on vegetables and fruit and things like that, right? So sometimes you need to know how to search without the barcode. But let me show you the easy barcode way first and then we'll talk about all the other things, okay? So by the way, you can also customize it. I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Sorry, the glare. This, I haven't reset this since comp competition days, but I have six meals in here. I've customized it to how many meals I've got. And I've got meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, and then pre-workout meal and post-workout meal. There's a program that I followed one time and we had to eat something specific around our workouts, which should just be a little bit higher in carbs, really but this one was like very, very specific that I was doing. So I did that to help me remember what it was. You can do that too. Now there's no wrong or right way. Remember, you can eat five meals a day or three meals a day. But, so you go ahead and hit add food. In the top right, we've got this little barcode scanner. Click on your barcode. Now I did bring in some food to demonstrate. Whole wheat pasta, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the barcode scanner and just scan it. Okay, so it came up, whole wheat pasta, or whole wheat rotini, um, great value. It even said that the serving size is 56 grams. Sometimes I like to double check these. Um, yep, 56 grams dry, which is one cup, which is really helpful. When this just says grams, I have a really hard time, like what does that mean? How am I supposed to measure that or anything like that? But the box said uh, cup. So now this is 180 calories per serving, and that's 39 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of fat, and 9 grams of protein. And then your serving size, if you did the 56, which remember the box said one cup, then you can say that, or you can change it, and then a number of servings and everything like that. And if you hit the check mark in the top right, maybe. There we go. Then it's documented. Okay, so barcode's pretty simple. Now let's add another item that maybe isn't a barcode. Like for instance, by the way, like you can also see when you do this. Ah, uh, nope. I can see my history. That's what I was gonna show you, but it's not working. So I can see like things I've had in the past, which is awesome because then you're not constantly looking for it. You just have to pull it up. So. Let's say chicken. I already have it in here, but let's search and let's type in chicken. And you can even be very specific chicken breast if you want to. Now, one thing I want you to also understand that my fitness pal is user entry. And that's where you can get anything from way low to way high. So you just kind of also want to look through. And they've done really well. They've added these green check marks to the food if it's been verified. Um, meaning that maybe just more than one person is like said, yes, that's accurate. Okay. And so you can kind of go through in here. 
my brand I always buy is Tyson Chicken, so I actually like to just search Tyson Chicken because you'll see there's a lot of different types of chicken in there, and I don't recognize any of the brands, so I just do Tyson Chicken, and then it comes up. So, and then you can go ahead and find what you found. So, and then you click on it, and you do your measurements and everything like that. So, and then at the end of the day, when you're looking at it, at the very top, it will tell you your goal, how much you had, plus exercise. The calculation in the membership site, it already takes into account your exercise, so do not log your exercise in the app. You're using this just to track your food intake, okay, which is, again, just a starting point. This is not the end-all, say-all. This is just giving you an idea. Now, if you are over on your calories at the end of the day, what I also like to do is flip your phone to the side. And then when you do that, you're going to be able to see the protein, the carbs and fats. And I like to do that because then I can go through and go, that is why I'm so far over on my carbs is because I had pasta and I had three cups worth, you know, and you can just kind of narrow it down to like, oh, so next time I eat that, maybe pull it back a little bit, okay? Which is also counting on the fact that you're being honest with yourself and measuring your food and stuff like that, which again is not the end all say all, it's just a starting. So hopefully that helps. Do not buy the premium. Use this just to get an idea. Use it to be aware of what you're eating. In the end, we want you to be in a calorie deficit, getting enough protein so you can build muscle, and then you should start to see results. Let me know if you have any more questions. You can email me at ali at tfl.com.